I've never driven a car before in my life. Um, I, I actually only drive automatic on the road as well, so I have no idea how this is going to go. So here we are at Silverstone, where we're going to race in the Pall Mall Cup trophy. Cup trophy. Cup with Jimmy Broadbent, and he's here. Hi. How you doing? Um, and it is a three-hour race. Uh, where we are racing the Mustang in the touring car class, which doesn't look overbearingly subscribed, must be said. Um, it's, but that's good because it moves us closer to a good result, and the Mustang does need a good result because it's had a difficult year so far. Um, we, our best result so far this year was fifth position with Abby uh, back at Donington. We didn't quite uh, relive those dizzy heights at the Silverstone Classic. Mm. Jimmy has tested the car. Once. We're gonna win. We're gonna and, win. And has decided we're gonna <laughs> win easily. Based on nothing. Um, <laughs> based on nothing. Yeah, and, and that's about and that's about the size of it. Um, sitting here just before qualifying, Gary Pearson sharing the car with us as well. Not big on the content, Gary Pearson. Great on the cars, not huge on the I content. Him on TikTok, doing some dances. <laughs> I reckon he's got it. If, if we really dangle something in front of him, I reckon he'll do it. Then Jimmy's gonna go second in qualifying. Then I'm gonna go third. Then we're gonna sit there like Heinz Harold Frentzen watching everyone else qualify um, and decide what we're going to do at the end um, to see if we can get the best lap for the car. And Jimmy, how do you feel about driving the car? I've done a few endurance races recently, um, so sort of you get the feel for how that works and like the sort of the start of the race is a bit different than just launching it for an hour. Um, but no, I'm, I'm confident the car, when I drove it last time, really nice, really um, really like crisp car to drive, so you know, it's, it's well prepared. So I, I well, in, well insured. Well, well insured. By Adrian Flux, my, 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 my preferred insurer, Adrian Flux. <laughs> so qualifying was underway, and with a damp Silverstone under tyre and underfoot, it was Gary Pearson out first, as per the master plan. The safety car pretty much put a start and an end to Gary's stint, so it was a slightly apprehensive but basically on top of it, Jimmy Broadbent who would be out next to actually establish a time. Ten top eight? Yeah, I think that's what we were aiming for, yeah. Yeah, top cool. ten, top eight overall. Yeah. We'll see. Different points of balls. The skin about. Most of the balls. <laughs> I'm going to leave him out there till it goes green because, yeah, like he needs to get some laps, properly laps in. Um, otherwise, he's, you know, he's not going to get a proper feel for it uh, if he's just pottering around behind the safety car. So, oh, they need to go green soon. We've been, we've been safety car for like the whole of qualifying so far. It's a bit... <laughs> if we get to like 10 minutes to go and I need to qualify the car, I mean, to be honest, we've or, or I need to get qualified in the car. We'll have to win him, um, just so he, just so I can get in and get qualified for the race. How long is qualifying? Uh, qualifying's an hour, um, and we have 25 minutes of it remaining. So, um, so how do you think the Mustang will fare under brakes? Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> I think it might. Oh, we're great. Good. I think it might heavily run out of brakes, like heavily. Um, and that's the main issue with it over a race distance. So we shall see. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna change the brakes. There's gonna be a generous lift and coast to keep the car going. Having seen how this has gone so far, I dare suggest we might get a podium overall. I win. Oh, I know there's been a lot of safety car and all that. But after the early laps of qualifying, we are in the top three overall in a genuine way. So, call me optimistic. OK, you're optimistic. One thing was for sure, though, and definitely real, which is that our man Jimmy was going for it.
so I went, I went straight out, yeah. first braking zone. You have to be super gentle on the clutching, don't you? Otherwise, it just goes. Well done. Well, thank you for telling me about the oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is horrendous. Yeah. You got like a bit of oil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure there's that much oil in it. <laughs> what was it like out there with the uh, Mustang? Quite slippery, <laughs> um, but we are we're polling class. <laughs> yeah, I think you're silly cow, but never mind. Yeah, no, we're polling. Oh, come on, don't, don't, yeah, don't, yeah, don't ruin my thunder. No, we're we're good. We're just here having fun uh, with with Jimmy and, yeah, and on, Gary. Early on, Jimmy, you were in the top three. Yeah, that's on pace alone, you know. <laughs> no, I, I, think, I think it's just because I got the end of the safety car and I was first across the line, so. But as you say, I'm not going to take that away. Top yeah, you're going to take that other way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm going to take, take all the wins you get, you know. Uh, I shall start the race, uh, then probably hand over to Jimmy, and then uh, and then Gary will do. Uh, will take the car to the flag. So um, that, that's how we're going to run it. I've um, given our strategy away there. I hope our competitors in yeah, class yeah. are not going to be too are not going to be too feisty. So I should come clean here. There are no less than five historic motorsport events going on around the world on this weekend, and the normally heavily subscribed V8 touring car class of the Pall Mall Cup has one car in it. Ours. That being said, we've qualified 12th for the race, only behind big GT cars which lead proceedings and ahead of all other touring cars. I have dreams of taking our little Mustang into the top 10, top 6 or even top 3 of the Pall Mall Cup and we've aimed loosely at top six in terms of finishing position as the race begins. to do which is move up the grid a little bit um, we're, we're sort of aiming for overall position at the moment and I think it's in P8 which is uh, really nice we started P12 so plus four and uh, now that it's starting to dry up a little bit it's really starting to suit the Mustang a bit more um, the Mustang is a, you know, a little bit cumbersome with some of the slow stuff in the wet and then now it's drying up and start getting out the corners a bit faster and uh, use our straight line speed advantage a bit more so uh, yeah, it's all going really well so far, but uh, a long way to go. You looking forward to it? Mate, I'm buzzing. This is the best thing ever. I mean, he was so worried. He was like, oh, yeah, you're not going to have fun. It's not a very big race. Like, shut up, mate. This is amazing. This is the best thing ever. I'm so happy to be here. And aren't we glad to hear it? As I boxed, it was really exciting to hand over to my third guest driver of the year with an absolutely faultless car underneath me. Fuel in by Gary Pearson with our very flash new dry brakes. Jimmy Broadbent in, engine fired up, and out he went. This was all going nicely.
Uh, we are one hour in to the six hours of six hours. Well, we can keep going for six hours. They're not going to hand any points out. The Pall Mall three hour race. I've just handed over to Jimmy Broadbent, who um, has taken the car over. The track is drying, um, but the car is running beautifully. We're under control after, you know, sorting this car over several years now. Um, and it's a beast, I'm loving it. We're behind everything but a GT car, um, in front of everything but a GT car, running around in the top 10. I would love to finish this race inside the top six. If we can do that, I'll be chuffed a bit. Um, but I, the main thing is I really want Jimmy to get a feel for historic racing and enjoy it. And uh, that's what he's doing now, pounding around in the brass tank. You've had no problems with gearboxes, dips? Stuff. No problems with gearboxes, dips, engines, anything, which is like amazing. I mean, look, it's a different kind of driving, right? So you're, you're driving in like a sports car, like a historic sports car, where you're really looking after everything. And uh, it's not the side-by-side, -side, bumper to bumper kind of stuff. That's where stuff can often break when you're rushing gear changes and stuff like that. Uh, and just pushing the car harder in terms of its revs as well. Um, but it's mint. It's absolutely mint. So if we can get this car to the end of th three hours with not a single problem, I'm going to be utterly delighted. And that's what it so far looks like is going to happen. Brakes, I left him loads. So I've been lifting, coasting uh, throughout the whole stint. Um, so Silverstone is not super hard on brakes anyway. Uh, it's not like a brand hatch scenario. So I'm, we've been properly looking after it. Honestly, the car is mint and really together. So pumped, delighted. Also pumped was Jimmy, who set a blistering pace as the track continued to dry. Gary Pearson was in next, which only meant one thing. It was my turn to look like an evil minion and put fuel in the rear of the car. everywhere now I mean if you come offline you are going to know about it um, but you know if you stay where you are stay on the line it's, it's pretty much feeling like a dry circuit that was a very like race driver interview wasn't it yeah great thanks for sponsors I know I go into like this weird mode when that happens but uh, that was so amazing I mean like you feel like such a fucking badass out there you know you're in this Mustang you're just V8 screaming away as you're going down the straights um, I, I sort of I took a couple of laps to get into it um, which I've been down to sort of maybe inexperience, but then after I sort of found what I was doing and uh, it's dried out some more, I found a really nice rhythm, really nice and consistent. I had a one scale when I thought I saw the oil pressure drop, but it was the oil temperature reading that was a bit faulty. So I was like, what? Okay, it's okay. Um, yeah, I think I came in in P8 where Alex gave it to me, which is nice. And uh, Gary's in the car now just to the end, so. I know, I'm, that's probably the most fun I've ever had driving anything. Sorry, Prague, sorry, Gold. You're great in all of us. Coming out. I mean, like, you're like power, like, coming out of, uh, I think it's, is it Woodcote, the long one, uh, onto like the old pit straight through there? Um, you come out in second gear, third gear, slide, bah, fourth gear, bah, and then onto the straight before cops. It's, uh, there's nothing like that. It's amazing. Big smile on my face. It became clear that 10th was our spot on pace and every single historic car that started the three hour race finished it unbelievably. We were 10th at the line. Just inside the top 10. First to the Mustangs. <laughs> Good effort. How was it? We lock locking, locking rears big yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's tougher now. Yeah, like you say, you have to 
sometimes when you start cramping, you just have to dip the clutch, sort it out, and then yeah, then go again. So you can't like can't break later. Anyway, yeah. Really. But they'll think of it. Actually, really nicely balanced. Way beyond my expectations. Especially the way it went for three hours. Still, yeah. still good at why, why are you all saying this now? <laughs> I was told it was great, and you were like, "Oh, wouldn't they? <laughs> I shouldn't have done that." No, it was, it was really good. Wasn't it? We've we've lived we've lived through it a bit with this one, haven't we? Yes. It's a nice little bastard. Yeah. <laughs> but on the on the back straight, on the hanger straight, it must be a sensor thing or something. The it's dice. The same place. The, the water. The water. The oil temperature. Dice. So boink, yeah. Boink, yeah. Yeah. But it has done for ages. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a sensor that's thing. That scared the shit out of me when I saw that for the first time, because I thought that was pressure. And I was yeah. like, what? And then, uh, yeah, clutching, but luckily not so much. Well, that went all right. Went all right, yeah. 10th place finish yeah, in the yeah. top 10, which I definitely remember was our aim. I think, yeah, definitely. I think I definitely don't remember saying sick. Mate, you were so confident. You were like, they're all going to break. <laughs> uh, we're going to easily win. And like, <laughs> I think it must be that. Did every car finish the race? I think so, yeah. I think every car finished the race, which is, like, ridiculous. Literally more reliable than F1. It, they, F1 it is. The it is. It All is. Right. Toto Wolf, get down here. Learn some, <laughs> learn some reliability. No, it, was, it, was, it was great. Great. This, this was, like, uh, for me, I mean, like, I was in the car the entire time. You're going to hear a bit of the audio where I'm just like, fuck it, right? This is great. Were you talking while you were in the car I during did, the I race? I for a bit, and I was like, actually, no, I want to go fast now. Or okay. like, try and go fast now. Yeah. And uh, I was fine, like, talking takes, like, a second away or something like that. So, um, but it felt, there was never any point where, like, it, it felt like it was difficult. That it wasn't like, a, like the car wasn't unbalanced or did anything weird. It all, everything I put into the car, and then gave some back. And yeah. I knew it was going to get back. But um, I started to try and push a bit harder, like, go up a, a, a gear in certain places. But I noticed that I did that. You start realising that it is quite old. Yeah. And it is quite soft. <laughs> Occasionally, like, it's when you try to get, there's a certain level with them where you're like, oh, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then you try to get the last bit out of it, and it's like, and now I suck. I completely suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and they just don't, haven't got that little bit of extra. I had that. But you, were, you were going, you were on the limit in it. You must have been, because how quick you were going in comparison to everybody else out there was on the pace. Oh, thank you, man. So, yeah, so it, it felt like it was felt positive, you know. So. Yeah, rapid, absolutely rapid, rapid, rapid. So there we go. I, I, I genuinely cannot. Is it weird to say I genuinely cannot believe we finished? <laughs> He, te he tells me all this shit now, like, uh, afterwards. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, this might have happened. I'm like, cool. Like, oh, yeah, the, the rear axle might have just come off to me. I'm like, we the, rear, the rear brakes are held on by clamps. We confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> the whole rear suspension's held on by clamps. I'll show you in a minute. It's literally like, it's literally a bolt on like a bit of bendy metal like that. You were sideways in that. Great. That's good, isn't it? Well, yeah, but, yeah, never but, again. Well, we, well I, I had fun. Do you have fun? fun? It was honestly... Um, yeah one of the best experiences of my life is driving thing here, man. Really? Uh, shut up, it's mate, so alright? Sorry, to, sorry Mr. Like, oh, I'm, I'm so Adam Preacher, I go all over the world, I am. Mate, I'm me. relatable, shut up. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah this, this, is, this is awesome. Like, I, I could drive this thing on an airfield and still have a fucking great time. Alex seems to have the impression I need to be like on fire, doing flips to the content, but for me, like, I'm just happy. I'm happy doing this. No, I'm really, I'm really glad you enjoyed it. And I only say really, because you've done so much cool stuff recently. Because I've been following you. Yeah, that's right. right. Like, comment, subscribe, please. Like, on live. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, actively, a I'm a follower. Actively unsubscribe, uh, Alex Brundle, then subscribe <laughs> to me instead. You realise all the people you told to subscribe the first time <laughs> are now going to unsubscribe because you said so. And then... Oh. Um, so, actually, we do, um, come way of summon, we did win our class. We I mean, won our class. It was a bit of a surprise. We didn't see it coming. Um, so we'll probably get a trophy at some point. It was point a shock win, wasn't it? For doing... I said the bare. I said the bare minimum. I, I genuinely think that we we got like the max amount of the car I think in terms of like pace and. If I think we can go home satisfied with the fact that if there was another car in our class, we'd have definitely beat it. Yeah, and we're going to say that and just assume that's true. That's the way to do things. But, um, <laughs> but mate, honestly, in that, so that is 300 kilos heavier mm. than a Cobra. It's got leaf spring suspension. It's got smaller tyres. And we are keeping up with GT cars. Yeah, we're there. So, yeah. Easy game. It's like a whole, it's like taking a DTM car to an F1 race and going and finishing, and finishing like. Not uh, last, yeah. Not last, yeah. That so, was... it's a decent effort. Well done. Thank and you, you drove brilliantly. There you go, that's about a one. Say that again, louder. Drove. 
<laughs> you drove no, me. Really? No, you did, honestly, because you know, you, I've said it a hundred times how easy they are to, how easy they are to break and how hard they are to drive. Mm. So, party on. Good luck with all of your motorsport escapades, and I'm sure there'll be some more in the future. So, so. thank you, mate. Well done. Yeah. Great job. Like, comment, subscribe to me, and I'm subscribing to right? <laughs> <laughs>